Hello and welcome to this tutorial for X-Theme Tech in Final Cut Pro. The pack contains over 100 plugins for Final Cut Pro that will give your channel or program a professionally designed, consistent look throughout. A really good resource is the Promo Video Project. You can load this into your copy of Final Cut Pro by clicking on the Load Demo Project button in the browser. It's very handy for working out how the plugins stack up, like this info bar for example. You can even copy and paste this into your own project. You'll find the plugins in the title browser, the effects browser, and also there's two transitions in the transitions browser. We've also added 10 color swatch ideas for inspiration. You can just click on one of the image wells in the inspector of the swatch you like and copy the color to the Mac OS color picker for use. There are plugins with built-in tracking. These are object trackers, not to be confused with the built-in tracking in Final Cut Pro. To use, select the object you want to track, track the object, then move the different parts of the plug into the object. Two extra things to point out here. Pin callout keeps the info panel for the plugin in one place so it's easy to read. We prefer this display method. And link knuckle automatically keeps the lines at nice angles to track the object. Many of the plugins contain extra functionality. An example here is the flip checkbox in this callout that flips the design from left to right. Also another control to highlight is in the progress bars. You can either set the progress bar to animate over the duration of the clip, or go completely manual and animate the bar with keyframes up and down until you're happy. It's your choice. With the social media prompts, make sure you check out all the icons available. Hopefully we've got all the ones you should need. Finally, if your production is going to end up on YouTube, you'll need an end screen. The six in the pack have been designed to match the default options in YouTube. Just drag one onto the timeline. We tend to make the duration about 10 seconds, but you can go shorter or longer, it's up to you. You can either add your video into the drop zones, or as we prefer, reduce the opacity of those and let YouTube fill the area with its clickable videos. And that's where we'll end as well. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one, goodbye.